Come on, come on, Shabbat, Shabbat, right there. You better Shabbat the Lord in this place. Hey, 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 hey. Cosa te pueblo.
Hallelujah. You may be seated. Amen. You may be seated in his presence. Don't forget where you're sitting. We are sitting in his presence. Hallelujah. God bless you all. I am grateful and I am honored and I am humbled to be here in this place. I thank the Lord that there are still young, wise pastors that know that young people such as you and I we need a place to go after hours on Friday night. Everybody else has a place to go on Friday night. We need that place too. But we need that place to be sanctified, Holy Ghost filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Abner, when I'm talking about how I sound, I'm going to ask you all to pray for me. Because unfortunately, vocally, I'm not feeling very well today. It's alright. But. I paid a price to get here today. Yes. Hallelujah. It was not easy for me, Pastor, to get here. And all these days, I've been looking forward to coming. Looking so forward to coming and seeing all these young people. Because I knew, I knew that at an event, <clears throat> at an event such as this, there would be many young people. And this is what we need. Amen. We need to fellowship. We need to be amongst each other in a relaxed environment where we could just come chill dressed and just talk to one to each other. When I first um, met with the pastor, he told me that there was a certain song that touched him. And this song is called Dime Le Que. I believe that's number three. Hallelujah. But don't play it yet. Let me break it down first. The message of this song is not an uplifting message. It's a message that calls you to be responsible for what you do, how you do it, where you do it, with whom you do it. This song lets you know that not everything that happens in your life is God's fault or the enemy's fault. This song lets you know that sometimes we make mistakes. And we come and the first person, hopefully, that we go to after we've made a mistake and we've dug a hole for ourselves, we cry out, God, why me? And we forget about that precious, precious, priceless blood. And this song tells you that if there is anything that he is guilty of, it's giving you everlasting life. If there is anything that Jesus is guilty of, it's dying on the cross for you. So before you go ahead, or, and I include myself, before we go ahead and make that calculated mistake, before we go forth and commit that sin knowingly, because there are sins that we commit knowingly. Can I be real? Before you make that mistake, remember the blood. Remember that he died for you. He invested his life for you. And right now, he's pouring into the kingdom in heaven for you. There's a crown with your name on it. There's a mansion with your name on it. Hallelujah. How many of you want to see your mansion? I didn't get enough hands. How many of you want to see your mansion? Hallelujah. Don't let nobody move in. Don't let nobody else move into your mansion. Move in. Hallelujah. Dime de que.
getting too many people responding to me. I'm used to people talking to me while I'm singing. How many, how many of you have witnessed, have witnessed something that only Jesus could do in your life? Your best he couldn't put, pull you out of the hole you were in. Your mother and your father left you. They couldn't help you. They couldn't hold you. They couldn't be there with you. But Jesus was. And the good thing is that not only was Jesus there, he is there.
Jose Cruz, hallelujah, and he's gonna worship. Oh, that hand clap is for God. That was cheap. Come on, somebody needs to get it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you clap and say hallelujah? Can you clap and say glory to God? Can you clap and give God the best 30 seconds of praise that you have given him all night? Come on, I can't hear you. 30 seconds. Just give God the best praise. That's all you got? Some of y'all gave God five seconds. I said 30 seconds. Hey. Come on, where my young people at? Come on. I want to hear some people that have been blessed tonight that want to say, God, I just want to bless you back. I want to bless you with my praise. I want to honor you. I want to praise you. I want to worship you tonight, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor God tonight. You may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I want to thank God and Praise the Lord, Brother Joel, and Pastor Joel, Pastor Denora, and the leadership. My greetings, my respect, my love from me and my beautiful wife, who is apparently playing amateur photographer tonight. Amen. Let everyone stand up. You look good, baby. Stand up. Let them see you. Amen. That's my wife. Give it up while I won't sing. Hallelujah, that's right, that's all me. Hallelujah. That's what happens when you wait on God. Ten years of marriage and going strong. Praise the Lord. So tonight I wanna Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we all together? Are we all together? Alright. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm going to try something a little different. I've never done this before. So, living water is the first for me and for you. Amen. I'd like to present one of the newest members of my band, Brandon Concepcion. I'm going to do a song for my latest album. And it's a song that is called, You Bring Me to Life. Sorrows, the we 
to life. You bring me, you bring me, you bring me.
of death spoken over your house, over your finances, over your daughters, over your church, over your marriage. I come against every single word of death and destruction spoken in your direction. I cancel every plan of the enemy in Jesus' name. And I declare that this church, this building will be too small. Don't water it down. 
not water it down. If they don't like you, let them leave. Let them go. So I have called you for such a time as this. In a city that no one else wanted to deal with. Everyone in this building, lift your hands and extend it toward this man of God. Because this man is going to experience a breaking in his spirit like he has never felt.
Bless you. We're here um, at the end of Lounge Night at Living Water uh, Fellowship here in uh, Woodland Park, New Jersey. And uh, it's just amazing what God did here tonight. We thought we were just going to come and kind of just chill and eat food and hang out and hear some good music and stuff. But what God had um, another purpose while we were here. Um, and two of the people that were here tonight is one of our singers, Edgar J. Cruz, uh, Minister Edgar J. Cruz and Edgar J. Cruz Ministries and also Evangelist Carlos Concepcion who was also here with, with us and want to give them a chance to share what their outlook on what tonight's service was like. Well as you can see by uh, how toe up I look, um, God just, the only thing I can say is God showed up and he showed off, you know, and at the end of it all, all glory and all honor belongs to God. God bless you, everyone. Amen. Uh, yeah, I, I unite my words to the words of uh, Brother Edgar. It was an awesome, awesome experience. For the next one, you do not want to miss it. I, it's an experience like none other, just being able to be in the presence of the God that we serve and that we worship. And so uh, it, it was a blessing. We bless the pastors, we bless the church, and we motivate them to continue going. All right. So that's it. We thank you. And like uh, Evangelist Carlos Concepcion said, the next one is going to be in just a couple of months. Um, be looking out for it. Uh, it'll be on Facebook. It'll be on the church web page. And we hope that you can make it out, bring your young people out. And like Tina Guzman said, the world has a place to hang out on Friday nights. And we need to have these kind of events for our young people so that they know that they have a place that's safe where they can come and just hang out with good Christian people and just worship the Lord together. God bless. Here we are at Living Water Church after lounge night. Um, we want to thank everybody who made it out tonight and made it a success. We turned the sanctuary into just uh, put out tables. We had a good time, good music, good fellowship, good word. Um, and now I want to hear from the angel of this house, Joel La Torre. This was amazing. The power of God was literally in our midst. I'm really excited that we were able to um, convert our church into a lounge and do something different for, uh, for the unsaved, for the church. And we were able to um, experience God's power. It was amazing, the singers. And uh, people were, were delivered. People were, were fed. People were, you know, strengthened in the Lord. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for what's about to come. And now we're going to hear from uh, First Lady, uh, Denora La Torre, who was here. She experienced everything that was going on. Um, we're excited that she was able to be front and center with her husband. Um, I could see the joy um, that she was having. Um, just look, seeing her young people just enjoy themselves, um, having a place to hang out on Friday nights. And so we're going to ask her to share her thoughts about what she thought about tonight and, and, and where are we going with this lounge night here in Woodland Park. God bless you. Um, when I first heard of the lounge night, I thought, oh, this is probably just a little get together. We can have a little fellowship, drink some coffee. But truly, God has showed himself in this place. And I believe that through this um, channel, a lot of young people will... Um, be ministered through and the deliverances and the blessing that I saw tonight can, will not compare to what's to come. Amen. So um, again, just look forward to our next event just in a couple of months. It takes time to put all this together, but continue to pray for the ministry, continue to pray for Living Water. Uh, Senior Pastor um, Joel La Torre, his wife Denora, his staff, and just what God is going to do in this place. We invite you to come back and be a part of it. Look for the announcements. It'll be on Facebook. It's going to be on the webpage. So we hope that if you weren't able to make it tonight, that you would be able to make it on the next one. Bring your young people, and we're just going to have a really good time. All right, talk to you later. Bless you.